Uh, Lorraine is on the phone now. Um, uh, she, eight weeks ago, had 20 Botox injections into her bladder to treat her urinary, uh, urinary, uh, urinary incontinence. And since having the operation, my bladder is still in retention and holding 200 mils of water. Will I need a catheter for the rest of the life? Because she's 55, very active, and, uh, and, and, uh, and has got this catheter, which is, you, you're saying that um, uh, you're having a lot of trouble with it, and, and uh, you'd obviously like to know whether or not that's forever. Lorraine. Yeah. Yeah. Thank okay. You. So uh, Lorraine and I had a good chat beforehand as well. So Lorraine has got something called urge incontinence. Urge incontinence is where you've got an overactive bladder. It basically spasms. Mm -hmm. And every time it spasms, you get this uncontrollable urge to go for a wee. And sometimes you have an accident. Um, it... There's lots of treatments that you can try for it. Lorraine has tried loads. So she's done the whole bladder retraining, tried that. She's taken medications that didn't agree with her. The next thing she tried was something called Botox injections or intravesical Botox injections where you put a camera into the bladder and you inject the bladder wall with Botox. And what that serves to do is that bladder muscle that's doing this... It freezes uh, it. It just relaxes it, ah. calms it down. Unfortunately, the known side effect from these injections, it's a very successful procedure, but the known side effect can be that your bladder relaxes too much and then when you need to go for a week, it doesn't compress completely, oh, so you get a residual volume left. And that volume of urine that's sitting there can get infected. The only way to deal with that, then, could be uh, catheterising yourself to empty your bladder when it can't do it itself. And that's what Lorraine's been doing. She's been getting issues with that. Now, one thing I would say to you, Lorraine, is firstly, um, if you're experiencing problems from that aspect, make sure that you're doing the catheterization as cleanly as you can. And I know you've gone straight into having a long-term catheter in now to try and avoid some of those issues that you're getting. You will get a bit of trauma and a bit of damage as you catheterize yourself, and that can cause irritations and that can cause you symptoms as well. Make sure that you're doing everything to prevent any infection. Sometimes patients get put onto long-term preventative antibiotics if they're having lots of infections. But remember, Botox wears off. So whatever symptoms you're getting as a side effect of that, usually they calm down over time and the Botox will only last between six to nine months. So hopefully what will happen later on in the year, you'll start to get some improvement in some of those issues. Right. But if not, speak to your specialist nurse that's looking after you. All right, thank you very much indeed.